The season 1 finale of Prime Video's sci-fi drama ends with the biggest of bangs. We start this video containing spoilers. Do subscribe to our channel for the daily exciting videos. In Night Sky Episode 8, Compensation, a brief banter ensues between Tony and Cornelius, in which Cornelius wins her trust by revealing that her father, Caleb, is living in a place called Carol. Although nothing more about Carol is revealed in Night Sky's first season, the fact that Caleb is living in Carol implies that it is either the name of the alien planet where the show's overarching cult is located, or the name of the specific location on the planet where the Night Sky cult has been established. Interestingly, the word Carol is derived from the Latin word Carulium, which means blue. This could be a subtle nod to the alluring blue starry sky that initially helped Frank and Irene deal with grief and later inspired them to explore the planet's mysteries. Carrying the heavy burden of proving his worth to his wife, Franklin's nosy neighbor, Byron, takes a leap of faith and steps out on the planet with a spacesuit on. At first, he seems fine as he finds Irene's teleported coffee table lying in the middle of nowhere, but soon after, he disappears from sight, with his whereabouts remaining unknown throughout the rest of the season. While, initially, it seems like Byron may have died, Prime Video's Night Sky's ending indicates that he could very well be alive and might have ventured off further into the ruins of the planet. Byron's excitement before Frank lost his signal on the walkie-talkie suggests that he, too, found the hidden civilization on the planet and decided to get a closer look at it. By doing so, it would not take him long to learn that the planet's air is breathable and its land is inhabitable. However, even if he did manage to reach the cult's dwelling on the planet, the cult's intolerance toward traitors and intruders indicates that they are determined to keep their existence a big secret and will not welcome a new member with open arms. As a result, even if Byron is still alive, his life is probably in danger. You. Okay, well, I'm gonna get out of here. Denise's decision to leave with Jude comes in tandem with a previous scene where she opens up to Franklin. During a visit to her father's grave, Denise pours her heart out and confesses to Franklin that she has not been too happy with her life lately. She further adds that her fears harken back to her father's struggles with depression, due to which she's thinking about dropping out of school. Franklin supports her decision and advises her to learn to trust herself. She later takes Franklin's advice to heart and decides to leave with Jude, as it feels like the right thing to do at that moment. Denise learns to trust her instincts and realizes that Jude still has a lot to learn about the real world because of being trapped in the cult all his life. Knowing that it would be hard for him to survive all by himself in a new city, she takes it upon herself to help him find his father. This way, she also finds a new sense of purpose and the opportunity to start afresh. Shut up! What does Hannah want from Cornelius? Cornelius is portrayed as one of the most ruthless guardians of the cult. Therefore, it is possible that when Hannah escaped the cult, Cornelius tried to track her down and gave her a hard time on Earth. This is probably why Hannah seems vengeful toward him and playfully warns him that they will have a lot of fun together. While her ulterior motives are still shrouded in mystery, she might also use Cornelius, Pietra Damchik, as a pawn to somehow attack the cult from the fallen world. Franklin? Franklin and Irene have different perspectives surrounding their discovery of the bunker. While Franklin is more skeptical and thinks that it was a mere coincidence, Irene firmly believes that it is all somehow connected to her son's death. Both possibilities exist, but for now, Franklin's stance seems more plausible. However, considering all the supernatural underpinnings associated with the alien planet and its cult, the bunker's sudden appearance after Mitchell's death could be a matter of serendipity, fate, or even destiny. At the moment, the possibilities for the bunker's true purpose seem endless in night sky, 